God bless you and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. So in today's video, I've got this bore scope that was sent to me by Vivor. It will be linked in the description. And I decided I want to see what it looks like in here with the engine running, seeing the valves go open, open and close and uh, watching the fuel kind of be sprayed in there and stuff like that. So I thought it'd be really cool to do. I wanted to originally drive this with it like that so you could see under full throttle and stuff, but I don't know how I would secure this properly. So we're just going to see how it looks running. And over this hole, I'm actually going to put some double-sided adhesive so it doesn't have a huge vacuum leak. Um, but yeah, the information for this will be in the description along with another video, which I did if you didn't see on the channel. It's the video before this one of this thing, uh, just an unbox and review type thing. And uh, yeah, it works really well. And you can actually adjust everything with this little knob here. It'll actually move it inside in the brightness. Uh, you can turn up and down with that and you can even take pictures it's pretty cool yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get the double-sided adhesive over this and then we'll get it started and see what's going on inside the intake manifold if you're new here please consider clicking that subscribe button So this is what it looks like with the valves opening and closing really quick. It's kind of hard to see. The fuel is spraying in there. That's really, really cool to be able to see inside there like that with everything running. We'll go ahead and rev it up some more. Absolutely awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off so you can hear me better. That is really, really cool. Being able to see inside the cylinders like that. You can see the smoke in there. That's awesome. That could be from crankcase pressure or the valves being slightly open uh, after combustion but the smoke's just kind of lingering around in there. It's really, really cool. So definitely an awesome little thing that you can use to inspect inside your engine. You could even go as far as putting it inside your valve cover without having to take the valve cover off. Just kind of seeing around on the, uh, the cam lobes or whatever that you need to look at and inspect without tearing it apart. Uh, and this thing also works really well. Let me show you real quick. Or if you wanted to go down and inspect you know, your starter, make sure everything's connected on it, you know, stuff like that. I mean, this is just an example. You can actually move this around and see in there. You can see the alternator right there. So this thing is definitely really handy for that. Um, and it's actually not too expensive. The quality is an AVI file, so it's not like super high def, but it is pretty good quality considering this thing isn't that expensive. And uh, yeah, works pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and stop recording now. Go ahead and... Video has been saved. So that'll be the video that you've already watched on screen. I'm just going to be overlaying it with some audio from the DJI Action 3 cam that I have right now recording. So yeah, it's definitely a pretty cool little product for sure. And I figured I'd give you a little video of the inside of it running with the camera so you can actually see the valves opening and closing. I'm not how sure how good you can see that I might actually have to slow the footage down or whatever in editing which I probably already did at this point if I needed to um, but yeah it's pretty cool that we can actually inspect things like that and you can even go as far as putting it in your exhaust see if there's something blocking it because sometimes things like to fall apart inside your exhaust system and then they get blocked in there and your engine's running like crap and you can't figure out what it is and it's just something blocking the exhaust that would actually be a good time to have that 
Now you won't be able to use it very far in, so maybe undo a spot and look in there with it or whatever. But either way, the possibilities, there's so many possibilities to it. So it's really, really cool device. Uh, but if you guys haven't seen the giveaway on my other channel, it will be linked in the description. You could win this John 316 steering wheel that says have faith. Bulbu sent me one to do a giveaway on on that channel. So definitely go over there, enter to win. It's totally free to do. Um, the instructions will be in that video. So definitely follow those instructions. If you don't follow them all, you're disqualified. If I call your name and you didn't do one of those things, you're disqualified. I'm just trying to make it fair for everyone. It's real simple. Follow the rules and be rewarded. Um, but yeah, uh, that's basically it for this video. We're still working on, you know, packing, moving stuff and all that. Try and get all figured out. So things are a little bit tight on the content. Um, so it's going to be pretty rough for a little bit. So bear with me, guys. I appreciate all of you guys watching this video. Uh, the views have definitely dropped off. So I'd appreciate it if you guys could share the video around. It would help me tremendously. And I greatly appreciate it. But more stuff will be coming soon, if God is willing. So I will uh, go ahead and get off here. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'm going to say this at the end of my video. I just want you to know that God loves you so much. He sent his only begotten son. And anybody that believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. And that is the good news. The gospel of Jesus Christ is that we were in our sin and in our transgressions. And Jesus took all of our sin onto himself, who has never sinned before. And he was sin for us. He became sin for us in your spot. So now when you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus was rose from the grave three days later, conquering death, according to the scriptures, you are saved and he clothes you with his righteousness. And when God looks down, he no longer sees your sin. He will see his son because on our own, we cannot work to get to heaven. We are not saved by our works. No one is. A good work would be uh, feeding the homeless and the poor. That does not save you. Those things are required once you have a relationship with God. You're going to want to do them. You're going to feel very generous in helping people. And that's why I'm trying to help you right now. Because a lot of people deny the scriptures because they were church hurt. The church did that. That was not God. I want you guys to know God loves you. He is using me to reach you right now. So just repent. Turn away from your sins. Believe in the finished work of the cross. Because when Jesus said it was finished, I believe he meant it. He was taking this so serious he died for it. But he is alive today. And all you have to do is call out to him. I love you guys. And I just want to let you guys know this message. It is good news. But there is a time when you will not be able to find him. So repent turn away from your sin and turn to him now because that day I feel like it's coming soon. So I just want to let you guys know there's a way out. Take it while you can. God bless each and every one of you and always remember this. God bless, stay safe, stay awesome. Jesus loves you.